Hey guys, Nick the Nutter Buster coming at you today with a quick video talking about carabiners. Uh, had a long conversation over the weekend with a good friend of mine about carabiners. I uh, wanted to confess to a climbing sin that I was guilty of. So, I hate screw lock beaners because I'm lazy. It's about as blind as you can be with that. So, had gotten into the habit of using this guy, which is a neutrino wire gate carabiner. All right, it's 30, I'll say it's 36 grams. Uh, it's rated for 22 kilonewtons. Good carabiner. I was using this on my lineman's belt. Um, then once I started using my one-piece tether bridge combo, I was also using one on each side of my bridge to connect to my uh, bridge loops. So, you know, the, the issue with that, it's not a huge issue in, in my book, um, but you have the issue where you can clip into a loop and if something gets twisted, you just come unclip. I say that's not a huge issue, that's a pretty huge issue. Um, anything on your bridge or tether, lineman's comes unclipped, you're hitting the deck. So, um, but it was something that I just kind of lived with, just, you know, male hubris, I guess. That's never going to happen to me. Until uh, I had a buddy talk me into one of these bad boys. So this is a Gribble Plume. It says on it that it's a Plume G. Uh, when you look them up, it says it's a Plume 3G, or K3G. Yeah, Plume K3G. Um, this is 38 grams, so you're gaining an extra two pounds. You don't have to fool with a screw lock, but it's got a double gate. So it's a little more of a chore to open, but it's still quicker for me than using a screw link carabiner, and this is also cheaper and lighter than using any type of auto locker, and it's not gonna freeze or get grit in it or anything like that. That wire gate is pretty reliable, pretty robust for something that's that small. But you can see this, it's not going to come out, so you basically got a locking wire gate carabiner. You get all the, you get ninety percent of the convenience um, of hooking up with a wire gate carabiner without having the potential to unclip at a time when you don't want to unclip. So uh, you can get these from REI. They got them on Amazon. Uh, they got them on most of the big climbing sites. So. I would strongly recommend if you're like me and you're lazy and a little on the cheap side and you've been using these neutrinos, go ahead, swap them out with the gribble. And I'm going to show you all a quick teaser video. The next video that we're going to do oh, it's going to be our uh, four and a half pound public legal climbing method. So y'all be sure to stay tuned and we will check that out next week. And until then, y'all take it easy.